Hi. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add events or how to program events in Radio Boss. So programs, jingles, um, sweepers go live at certain times of day or pretty much that we program ourselves. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to click on F3 in our keyboard and it'll bring up this little clock icon here or the scheduler in Radio Boss. Or if we don't see that, we can just go ahead and click on View and Scheduler. We're going to click on it. It'll automatically open here once again. So once we're right here, we're just going to go ahead and click on Add and this little event portion or event window will open up and this is pretty much where we're going to go ahead and do all of our programming so we're going to click on the lightning icon and the scheduler wizard will show up and it'll tell us if we want to play a track or a playlist play an internet stream play one track from another players or folder play on tracks or folder and so on and so on so for this video we're just going to be working on play a track or playlist and we've also created another video that's going to be going live in a few days where we can play an internet stream all we would need is just the URL of the station and we'd be all set. So it'd be the basically the same steps for most of these options. It's just a matter of setting it up the way you'd like it to. So we're just going to go ahead and click on play a track or playlist. Then we're going to click on next. It's going to open up our music folder, but you would just have to pretty much look for your folder where you have whatever you want to program. So we're going to want to go ahead and program 105 Dibble Dobble Hats. We're going to click on it. It's going to pretty much add it here. So the playlist track file name or command. So it's already added here. Then on, but right below it, it's going to ask us for a time and day. So let's say we want to go ahead and choose the time. I want it to play at 1 every, um, we're going to go ahead and put PM, 1 every day. So 1 PM every day, they want this song to play. So once we have that set, we can click on weekdays if we wanted to play every Monday to Friday, all the, every single day of the week, or weeks as well, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and the last week as well. It's just a matter of when you want it to go live. So you would just select here when you want this certain program to go live. We, once we have that set up here, we can also choose time right below it. Hours, we're going to click on it and it'll tell us what hours we want it to go live. Certain hours, let's say we have a promo that we want every every morning at 7 a.m. to play. So 23, it's also military time. So just keep that in mind. So don't click 7, hoping it'll go live at 7 p.m. So pretty much 7 is going to be 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 and 12 a.m., you know, and so on and so on. So and we also have the minute options and the seconds. So 730, we want it to go live and the seconds right on 730. So we click on that. It's set up. Then if we, for example, click on date as well, we have a certain date that we'd like to play, the 19th, which already passed, but let's say just go ahead and 27th, you would select that option and you'd be all set there. Then expiration, once it's done, do we want to delete the event? Do we want to disable the event? I normally just choose to delete it so it clears up the event tab and the scheduler tab so it's not pretty much full of programs, but you can also disable it if it's something that you want to go ahead and use one day. So it asks us to disable it, the time we want to disable it, and the day. So the day would be pretty much when you want it to go live or when you want it to, let's say it goes live on the 27th, that 27th, that pretty much 8 a.m. you want it to get it removed after it's gone live. So it's not clogging up your space. And then the waiting options is how much you want it to wait in the queue before it goes live. So, or play. So it's just a matter of when you want to pretty much set it up and activate it. So once we have that set up here and we all set with the times we want to use, we just click options, enable event, and then it's going to ask us do not action this event when play this is stopped send task name instead of track titles to server i normally just leave this as it is because all we want to do is we want our program or promo to just add it to the queue and play so we just leave enabled event and remove previous schedule from the playlist once we have that we just click on ok and it automatically gets added here to the scheduler window so here we see the time it's going to go live the imm and then it says here the a and the mute so i normally for example in this test i didn't add a time so it just tells me that but if we right click it and we click edit and we give it, for example, time 1 p.m., we click on OK, it'll add it to pretty much time. So that day, at the day I selected and the time I selected is when it's going to go live. So it's going to be playing, it'll automatically get added to the queue and go live. So it's basically a video on how to add your program or how to add your promo, set it up in the event tab, and pretty much make it go live. If you have any questions or comments in regards to this video, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and we're happy to help. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.